Okay, friends, come and cook with me. We're going to be making a low-carb chicken cauliflower fried rice. So what you need to do is prepare one zucchini. We're going to chop it up, one zucchini. We're going to chop up a couple of onions. We're going to chop off, chop up a few cloves of garlic. The more garlic, the better to me. It just makes it taste good. I got two eggs off to the side. And instead of um, soy sauce, we're going to be using coconut aminos. If you want soy sauce instead, just use the soy sauce. And I have um, a pot heating up like a wok style pot. I'm using coconut oil in there. And we're going to heat that up so we can add the onion in and we can add in the garlic. Going to mince the onion, um, the garlic finely, not the onion. We're going to mix the garlic finely and we're going to add that into the co coconut oil first. Now we're going to dice up the onion. I already have the whole zucchini diced up in a bowl separated. So once the onion is diced up, we're going to add that into the wok or a very large frying pan, whatever you are using. For the chicken, I'm going to be using the blackened chicken breast strips from Tyson, and I just dice them up and add them into the wok. So we have our onion, garlic, and chicken sauteing in there, and we're going to add in our two bags of cauliflower rice or one bag, whatever amount you want to be making. A little bit of saltiness instead of the soy sauce, since we were using the coconut aminos, we're going to use um, the Bragg's liquid aminos. It's more salt here, and it tastes like a soy sauce added into the cauliflower fried rice. You want to be cooking the cauliflower fried rice before adding in the zucchini. The zucchini gets added in once the cauliflower fried rice is come to a softer state. Waiting for that to cook, you can add the two eggs that you have separated in the bowl and whisk it together so when you add it in to your cauliflower fried rice, it's already incorporated. <laughs> A couple of minutes of this cooking and simmering has the zucchini tender. So at this point, we're going to add in the egg and you're going to mix it all in and let it cook our fried rice is done you can see it that it is steaming hot also a note that i would um tell you ahead of time is that cauliflower once it cooks kind of gets watery a little bit so i would probably cook it off then add the coconut coconut aminos and the um, other aminos into it or the soy sauce or whatever you're doing and normally I add in some carrots and frozen peas I didn't have that today and you can also make this vegetarian you don't have to add in any chicken or eggs so bon appetit I hope you enjoy it let me know if you try this recipe it is so so easy super super yummy kind of a healthy you know meal vegetables protein 
So let me know if you enjoy it. Like and subscribe to my videos. Thanks.